Well, as things work out, uh, we had to get a fuel pump on Bickle's truck. Had to get it towed to the house because he broke down, but we got some spot cleared out. And I went and picked up the steel and Bicknell. <laughs> All right, fresh new day. We got a 97 GMC Sierra with a bad fuel sending unit pump and a bad filter, fuel filter. I've seen some YouTube videos that say that it's right underneath the driver door. So we're gonna crawl under here and see if we can get her out of there and get it replaced. Well, everybody said it was gonna be right underneath the driver door where the frame is, and they were right. I climbed under here. It's right here. So this is a five eighths on one end. We're trying to figure out what the other wrench is. All right, so that was uh, tough. It looks like you need to have a 13 sixteenths and a 5 eighths for either side. The 13 sixteenths is for this side. The 5 eighths is for the, the gas line itself. Uh, the socket that I needed to use to take the bracket off, you can see the two screws there for the bracket. This was a 13 millimeter is what ended up taking that off. But anyway, we got the fuel filter removed. Now we're getting the toolbox off so we can get to the fuel pump. All right, so if you have a 96 GMC or, or Silverado, uh, and you've done this a few times, you leave yourself an open hole to get to. All right, that took a little bit of finagling. Uh, basically, with a hammer, and a screwdriver um there's a ring on the outside that's got little tabs that stick up you just take it and tap it to kind of get it to twist um first thing we had to do is unhook all this your electrical line and these other connectors you got to unthread them um this come off one end over here but uh we got that off took it to o'reilly's i like o'reilly's they're pretty good to us um Anytime I've ever needed anything, they've always helped me really well. Um, I used the blower to get the debris off of here. Uh, my father-in-law lives on a, a very dusty area with a lot of loose sand. So there was a lot of stuff caked on around here. We used a vacuum cleaner and <coughs> this little tool right here, this little scraper tool. We scraped around the edges and vacuumed around it to get all the debris out of there so it wouldn't get in the tank when we took everything apart and that worked pretty darn great so anyway i uh i'm gonna go ahead and climb under here and replace the fuel filter first um because it don't take much this is uh we compared them at the store to make sure they matched up this is about 11 bucks right now uh they're pretty standard nothing really fancy to write home about uh, in and out, clearly labeled right. So, that should be pretty simple. The out goes towards the towards the motor, and then our fuel pumps in here. The picture makes it look like it's like it's plastic, but it ain't. It's metal. So anyway, let me get my nine, my thirteen sixteenths and my five eighths and climb back under here. Hey, I don't know if this is an area of concern, but the fuel filters in here, and if I trace this fuel line, look right there. I'm trying to get my hands over here. That looks kind of pinched, don't it? Hmm. Okay, so we got the uh, fuel filter in. We got the fuel pump in. We cranked it uh, with the aid of uh, Danny. Danny pulled up just at the right time. We had to we had to jump it off. The battery had died. So, you know, they say when it rains, it pours. But at least it poured on a nice and pretty day when we had some help. And now we got us a new battery poked in here. And we should be firing up soon. Drink right up, no problem. What you want, what you want? Love you. Okay. Bye, y'all. My chauffeur. Bye. Yeah, bye. Y'all be careful. Love y'all.